हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर नीरज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ बायोटेक्नोलॉजी पंडित चंजिला शर्मा गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज करना टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज एनिमल क्लोनिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स डिस्कस द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस वीडियो सो आफ्टर दिस लेक्चर यू विल लर्न अबाउट दैट वट इज क्लोनिंग द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्लोनिंग लाइक डी एन ए क्लोनिंग एनिमल क्लोनिंग एंड थेरोपैटिक क्लोनिंग you will also able to explain about the scnt technique that is somatic cell nuclear transfer technique that was used for making the dolly the sheep different cloned animals were also be discussed in this lecture and finally the applications and the various ethical issues of animal cloning will also be covered in this lecture so let's get started first of all we should know that what is cloning cloning is you can say it is just creation of a cell or organism that is exact copy of the parent or you can say which have the exact content what the parent contain that daughter cell or that daughter organism it contain exactly same genetic material or you can say it is completely similar to the parent so that is known as the cloning and when we make the identical copies of any molecule like dna then in that case it is known as dna cloning what are clones so clones as i told these are genetically identical cells or organisms that originated from the single cell or organism by asexual method means the clones they have exact carbon copies of the single living parent they contain similar characteristics genetically and phenotypically similar to their parent or you can say from the organism they have been cloned so these are just exact carbon copy of their single living parents now what are the different types of cloning so generally cloning can be divided into three types first gene or dna cloning second reproductive cloning which is also known as animal cloning and third is therapeutic cloning so let's discuss these types of cloning in cloning in little bit detail first is a gene cloning or dna cloning as the name indicates gene cloning or dna cloning so it means it is a procedure in which the many copies of a gene or a dna is made from the single gene or dna molecule generally the technique that is recombinant dna technology or pcr polymerase chain reaction is used for the gene cloning and dna cloning in this gene cloning or dna cloning the recombinant dna technology it involve a series of procedure in which the two different dna segments they recombine that is the vector dna and the dna which is to be cloned so first they are recombined to form a single dna which is known as a recombinant dna then this recombinant dna molecule it enter the host cell and replicate so as this recombinant dna replicate so our gene of interest is our gene of interest also get replicated you can also get multiplied so in that ways our gene of interest also get cloned you can say it get cloned it make many copies of itself so this is about the gene cloning or dna cloning next reproductive cloning so reproductive cloning it's a process of making a animal that is genetically identical to donor or you can say parent animal this cloning is also known as animal cloning because by this method we are making a complete animal from a single donor or a single parent so this reproductive cloning it can be done by two ways embryo splitting and the somatic cell nuclear transfer technique so let's discuss them first embryo splitting so as the name indicate in this technique we just bisect or you can say we just divide the multicellular embryos into two half so it is that's why it is known as embryo splitting and sometime also called as embryo twinning so because this technique or you can say this procedure is done at the early stage so they are usually less than 8 cells so you can only make few clones so in the diagram you can see the procedure of this embryo splitting or twinning that first the embryo is split into two halves you can say come one complete embryo is divided into or bisecting into the 
two half embryos. Then these half embryos, these are transferred to the uterus of surrogate mother. The pregnancy is completely monitored by using ultrasound. And after the gestation period, this surrogate mother gives birth to the animals which are, you can say, which are identical twins. So by this, we can also make cloned animals. So embryo splitting is also one of the technique of making the cloned animals. Second, somatic cell nuclear transfer. In this technique, generally the genetic material or you can say the nucleus from the adult cell or embryonic cell, it is removed and this nucleus is placed into enucleated unfertilized egg, means whose nucleus has been removed previously. So the genetic material or nucleus from adult cell is removed and transferred into enucleated unfertilized egg. So this technology was first used by in, by in 1997 to create the cloned sheep that was named Dolly. So this is the complete procedure of this somatic cell nuclear transfer technology. So in this technology, first we take an egg and removed its nucleus to create the enucleated egg. In the next step, then we take the somatic cell of that animal of which we want to make the clone. So somatic cell of that element, animal has been taken and its nucleus is removed because we only need nucleus, we only need nucleus to make the cloned animal. Then this nucleus extracted from the somatic cell nuclear, uh, somatic cell, it is transferred into the enucleated egg. And this transfer, you can say this transfer is generally uh, done by some fusing techniques. Uh, either by, you can say, we can directly inject this nucleus into the egg cell or we can use fusion technique like using electric current. We can also mediate the fusion of enucleated egg cell with nucleus removed from the somatic cell. Now this egg cell, it contains the nucleus of somatic cell of the animal to be cloned. Now this egg is now stimulated to divide to form an embryo. When the embryo is at blastocyst stage, then at this stage, it is transferred into the uterus of surrogate mother. And if all goes well, so that surrogate mother will give rise birth to the normal animal and which is said to be the cloned of that animal from where the somatic cell has been taken. So this is the complete procedure of somatic cell nuclear transfer technique. Now let's discuss the third type of cloning that is theropathic cloning. It is also known as embryo cloning because in this technique we just produce embryos for use in therapeutic or for use in research. We do not go for the birth of animal. Instead, we just take the embryos and grow it to get various cells which can be used in research or which can be used in therapeutics. So, in this generally, in the therapeutic cloning, it enables the cultivation of stem cells that are genetically identical to patients. These stem cells then they are stimulated to differentiate into more than 200 types of cells present in the body. These differentiated cells that could transplant it into patients to replace the diseased or you can say the damaged cell without risk of injection, rejection by the immune system. So this kind of cloning or this kind of therapeutic treatment can be used for a variety of conditions like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease etc. This is the procedure of therapeutic cloning. So in the therapeutic cloning, similarly like SCNT, first the egg cell is taken from the donor element, animal and its nucleus is removed to create the enucleated egg. Then somatic cell is taken from the patient and nucleus is removed from the patient's somatic cell and transferred into the enucleated egg, which can either be done by the direct injection or by fusion of somatic cell with egg cell using electric current. So now this egg which contain the nucleus of somatic cell is stimulated to divide to form embryo. So when the embryo is at blastocyst stage, it is used to extract the stem cells from the blastocyst and then these cells, they are grown under special conditions to get the cells for therapeutically uses. Means instead of implanting this embryo into the uterus of surrogate mother, we just extract the stem cells from the blastocyst 
and allow them to grow into cells which we want for the therapeutic purpose. So this is about the therapeutic cloning. Next, let's discuss some famous cloned animals. First is Dolly the sheep. So Dolly was first cloned mammal which was cloned by using the technology that is somatic cell nuclear transfer and she was cloned by the scientist Ian Wilmot. She born 5th of July 1996 at Roslyn Institute, Edinburgh, Scotland which is in the United Kingdom. She died at 14th February 2003 at the age of 6. She gave rise birth to 6 lambs that are Bonnie, Sally, Rosie, Lucy, Darcy and Cotton. So that are the names of the lambs which were given birth by that Dolly sheep. And the Dolly sheep was named after the American singer that is Dolly Partron. So what were the steps used in cloning of Dolly? So the technique used was SCNT method that is somatic cell nuclear transfer. So in this first the cells were taken from the udder of Finn Dorset Eve. So these cells they were placed in culture with very low concentration of nutrients because they were starved just to stop dividing and switch off their active genes. And similarly, meanwhile, an unfertilized egg was taken from Scottish black face eel. The nucleus was removed, leaving just an empty egg, which contained all cellular machinery that is required to produce embryo, but do not contain the nucleus. Then these two cells, means the cells which were taken from the udder and the empty egg, they were placed next to each other and an electric impulse given to them which caused them to fuse together. So due to fusion there is a creation of egg cell which now contain the nucleus which was taken from the udder of Finn Dorset Eve. Now after about six days this resulting embryo it is implanted into the mother into the uterus of another sheep that is black face Eve which serve as a surrogate mother. So after the gestation period this surrogate mother that is black face Eve, it gives birth to the baby which is named as Dolly. And this Dolly was genetically identical to the original donor that is the Finn Dorset Eve. So by this method the Dolly was cloned using the SCNT technique. The death of Dolly on 14th of Feb 2003 Dolly was died because she had progressive lung disease and severe arthritis. Generally, a Finn Dorset such as Dolly has a life expectancy of around 11 to 12 years, but Dolly died at the age of 6.5 years and a postmodern report showed that she had a form of lung cancer which was the cause of her death. Now the next cloned animal is a Snuppy, which is the first cloned dog cloned by the scientist Wu Sok Wang using the SCNT technique. He was born on 24th April 2005 at the Department of Theriogenology and Biotechnology at Seoul National University in South Korea and he was died on May 2015. Next cloned animal is Tetra which is a rhesus monkey and you can say it is also the first cloned monkey which was cloned by using the technique embryo splitting or embryo or you can say artificial twinning and it was cloned by the professor Gerald Scotton. It was born on October 1999 at Oregon National Primate Research Center USC and the Tetra was created using the embryo splitting of process which I told earlier that in which the embryo is divided or you can say split into two halves and then these two halves these are transferred into the surrogate mother which gives birth to the cloned animal. So that embryo splitting technique was used for making this tetra the rhesus monkey. Next cloned animal is CC which means copycat or carbon cat. So she was first cloned cat or you can say the world first cloned pet animal and she was also cloned by using the technique 
एस सी एन टी दैट इज सोमेटिक सेल न्यूक्लियर ट्रांसफर टेक्निक शी वॉज बोर्न ऑन ट्वेंटी सेकेंड डिसंबर टू थाउजेंड वन एट ए एंड एम यूनिवर्सिटी टेक्सास यूएसए एंड डाइड ऑन मार्च थर्ड टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी इन द कॉलेज नेशनल टेक्सास यूएसए नेक्स्ट है क्लोन एनिमल इज प्रोमिटिया विच इज द होर्स यू कैन से इट इज द फर्स्ट क्लोन्ड होर्स क्लोन्ड बाई यूजिंग द टेक्निक एस सी एन टी बाय सिजार गैलाई एंड इट वॉज नेम्ड आफ्टर द ग्रीक गोड दैट इज प्रोमिथियस एंड ही वॉज बोर्न ऑन ट्वेंटी एट्थ ऑफ मई टू थाउजेंड थ्री एट द लेबोरेटरी ऑफ रिप्रोडक्टिव टेक्नोलॉजी क्रिमोना इटली द प्रोमिटिया वॉज क्लोन्ड बाई टेकिंग द स्किन सेल्स ऑफ द सेम होर्स दैट कैरिड हर pregnancy means it was cloned by using the skin cells next animal is injad which is the camel you can say it is a first cloned camel cloned by using the similar technique that is scnt and it is cloned by dr ali zida al hazmi and it was born on 8 april 2009 at camel reproduction center in dubai united arab emirates Inzoz was created by using the ovarian cells of adult camel. Means ovarian cells of adult camel was taken. They were grown in the tissue culture, and they was injected into the nucleus removed oocyte of this surrogate camel, which were fused with electric current and chemically induced to initiate the cell division. And the resulting embryo that was cultured for a week and implanted back into the surrogate camel's uterus. and which give rise to birth of this cloned camel that is injas next cloned animal is nuri which is the goat and you can say it is the first cloned pashmina goat which is cloned by using the similar scnt technique by dr riaz ahmed shah she was born on the 9th of march 2012 at the faculty of veterinary science and animal husbandry sher e kashmir university of agriculture sciences and technology kashmir shrinagar Jammu Kashmir India The Nuri was born to three mothers means the one provide the egg another the DNA you can say the nucleus and the third carried the clone embryo to the term or you can say to the to the birth so the three mothers of you can say Nuri were involved in the production of this cloned animal Nuri the goat next kaga which is the first cloned cow and cloned by using similar technique that is scnt and cloned on july 1998 you can say uh, born on july 1998 at the ishikawa prefectural livestock research center in japan she was died on october 2019 in the same institute twins cow kaga and noto they were born as a result of japanese research on the bovine cloning means the twin were born one was the kaga and other was the noto so kaga was the first cloned cow next cumulina which is the mouse or you can say the first cloned mouse and it was born on 3rd of october 1997 at the you can say the which is the former campus of the john a burn school of medicine located at the university of hawaii honolulu usa and developed by yana gimachi and it died on 5th may 2000 and she was cloned by the team yana the riaizu yana gimachi research group and she was named after the cumulus cells that surround the oocyte in the ovarian follicle in mice means the name cumulina comes from the cumulus cells so these cells they surround the developing oocyte in the ovarian follicle in the mice so on these cells that mouse named cumulina now let's discuss about the applications of these cloned animals so first animal models means by cloning the animals we can get the animal models which can be used to study the various diseases and various basic fundamental process you can say many valuable informations can be obtained by using these trans these cloned animal as animal models next application is organ for transplantation means we can use these cloned animal for organs like by reproductive cloning we produce cloned animals from where organs can be directly taken or 
if we use therapeutic cloning so in that case the embryo which can be used for generating the organ means the cells from the embryos they can be isolated and then forced to differentiate into particular organ which can be used for the transplantation transplantation so the these cloned animal can be used as a one of the alternative or source of the organs for transplantation next production of transgenic animals means we can also produce transgenic animals by transferring genes to these cloned animals means we do not have to depend on the natural animals you can say uh, natural animals we can use these cloned animals for the purpose of transgenesis or you can say for the purpose of making transgenic animals and with the transgenic animals we have many application of these transgenic animals like here for one example that salmon fish it was genetically engineered for more rapid growth by transferring the growth hormone gene so in that case the size of salmon fish was very large as compared to normal fish so these transgenic animal can be used for the product uh, these cloned animal can be used for the production of transgenic animals next application is recovery of endangered species so endangered species are those species which are you can say near the end or near the extinction so by cloning these endangered species or animals we can recover their population or we can recover these animals so cloning can also be one of the way of recovering the endangered species like here in case example you can see the example of panda so by taking the cells from the panda we can make the cloned panda so in that way we can you can say recover the population of endangered animals next proliferate the extinct animals means the animals which has already been extinct or you can say which are already been lost from the earth so there is a certain plants that we can also revive them or you can say we can also clone them like for example here we are taking the example of mammoth so it is just you can say hypothetical that we can clone a mammal from this extinct or you can say from the fossil but if we get a viable sperm like here in the example you can see the scheme like if we get a viable sperm from the frozen mammoth then we can remove its nucleus and transfer it into the enucleated egg and now this egg which contain the nucleus of the extinct mammal then it can be transferred to surrogate mother which give rise to birth of cloned mammal so in that way we can also you can say recover the extinct animal but it is just now in hypothetical views but it may be possible next the cloned animal can also be produced breeding stock because we we have the cloned animal so many animals can be produced so it will increase the breeding stock or ultimately cloned animal can also be used to produce food because there will be we will never run out of food because we have cloned animals and superior quality animal can also be produced by this cloning now let's discuss about the disadvantages of this animal cloning so first very expensive this animal cloning is a expensive technique second time consuming because to clone an animal it takes time because it takes the gestation period and there is no guarantee that in the first run or in the first trial a cloned animal will be produced so it may take many trials so it's a time consuming process third mutations can also occur in the clones because clones it it's not guaranteed that the clone will be normal so there may be some mutations in the clones also which is also which is also the disadvantage of this animal cloning technique next rejection of transplanted organ means if we take the organ from these cloned animals so these organ can be rejected by the immune system of the you can say the of the recipient animal so they can be rejected also next is clones do not always look like you can say the clones which we are making we think that they should be exactly similar to each other but sometimes these clones they do not looks identical next disadvantage is that some clones may not survive means the survival rate of these clones is very less till date so they do not survive for long period next production of undesirable traits means due to this cloning sometimes undesirable characters are also uh, formed in the or you can say also appears in the cloned animals 
नेक्स्ट जनरली इट इन्वाइट द मेल प्रैक्टिस इन टू सोसाइटी मीन्स सम पीपल थिंक दैट इट विल क्रिएट द मेल प्रैक्टिस इन टू दोसाइटी नेक्स्ट इट विल ऑल्सो वीकन द डाइवर्सिटी एंड एबिलिटी टू एडेप्टेशन मीन्स इफ वी रूटीनली क्लोन्ड द एनिमल सो इट विल यू कैन से डिक्रीज द डाइवर्सिटी एंड ऑल्सो डिक्रीज द एबिलिटी ऑफ नॉर्मल एनिमल टू एडेप्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू एनवायरमेंट सो दीज आर सर्टेन डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ दिस एनिमल क्लोनिंग नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट एथिकल इश्यूज ऑफ एनिमल क्लोनिंग सो एथिकल इश्यूज आर दोज इश्यूज विच आर जनरली आस्क अबाउट बाय द लेमैन और समटाइम सम आल्सो लर्न पीपल्स दैट ड्यू टू सम मिसकंसेप्शन सो दीज इश्यूज आर जनरली यू कैन से टेकन एज एथिकल इश्यूज फर्स्ट इज प्लेइंग विथ गोड सो सम पीपल थिंक दैट cloning is just like playing with god means you are creating animal for yourself so you are playing with god second playing with nature some people thinks that the cloning is just like to playing with nature so if you will play with nature so nature will play with you so these kind of um, thinking will also be comes into views next clone has no soul so some religious people they believe that if cloned is a human being then it will not have any soul because it is just prepared by artificial technique so it will not have any soul next painful for animal most people believe that the procedure which is adopted for creating that cloned animal it is painful for the animal or you can say it may cause physical and mental damage to the animal so this is one of the also uh, one of the ethical issues of animal cloning next poor life of cloned animal another ethic is that these cloned animal they have very small life or you can say very poor life next killing an embryo is like killing an animal when you are doing therapeutic cloning so in that case you just take embryo and take cells from the embryo and ultimately the embryo it got killed and some people believe that killing of embryo is just like killing an animal means if you killed an animal or you can say if you killed an embryo so you just killed an animal so both are equal so this is one of the ethical issue next what will be the right of clone so some people thought that if cloned animals are in the society or you can say cloned human being for example you take cloned human being so what will be the rights given to them means they will have a similar right as the human beings have next abortions and miscarriages so when you perform this cloning so there are several non viable or you can say deformed embryos which you have to just abort out so this increase the abortion and miscarriage rate which is also ethical problem and what will happen to abnormal clone so there is a high chance that when you cloned animal it will be abnormal so if cloned animal is abnormal so what will be happen to that cloned animal will you allow that animal to live or will you just kill that animal so what will be happen to the animal cloned animal if it will be abnormal next ethical issues that is what will happen to clone if they are not identical means you are preparing the cloning animal or you can say you are doing the cloning for identical animals but what will you do if these clones are not identical so either you will kill that animal or you will allow them to live next risk to egg donor and some people believe that that when you take the egg from the donors so there will be certain risk to this egg donors means for taking the eggs we generally gives some hormones or some drugs to the donors to increase or you can say to stimulate the ovary so these drugs have harmful effect on the donor so these are some ethical issues which are generally encountered when we are dealing with the animal cloning now some practice questions for you first which cloning technique is used to clone the whole organism so options are reproductive cloning dna cloning gene cloning or therapeutic cloning so there are four options you have to choose the correct one next question what is the first step in cloning process so again four options are in front of you you have to choose the correct answer next question what is scnt that is somatic cell nuclear transfer so you have to choose the correct answer next question dolly the sheep was cloned by which technique embryo twinning embryo splitting scnt and genetic engineering so you have to tell the right answer 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वट इज द लास्ट स्टेप इन द क्लोनिंग प्रोसेस यू हैव टू टेल द लास्ट स्टेप सो फोर ऑप्शन आर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू सो यू हैव टू चूज द लास्ट स्टेप इन द क्लोनिंग प्रोसेस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेम द फर्स्ट क्लोन होर्स दैट वॉज स्नपी इंजाज प्रोमिटी और रेल्फ सो यू हैव टू नेम द फर्स्ट क्लोन होर्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट क्लोन मेमल फ्रॉम अडल्ट सोमेटिक सेल वॉज सो अगेन यू हैव टू टेल दैट द फर्स्ट क्लोन मेमल विच वॉज क्लोन बाय यूजिंग अडल्ट सोमेटिक सेल नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेम ऑफ द फर्स्ट क्लोन गोट वो सो यू हैव टू टेल द नेम ऑफ फर्स्ट क्लोन गोट सो फोर ऑप्शन इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू यू हैव टू टेल द राइट वन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एम्ब्रियोज फ्रॉम सिंगल सेल इज नोन एज थेरोपेटिक क्लोनिंग रिप्रोडक्टिव क्लोनिंग डीएनए क्लोनिंग और आर्टिफिशियल क्लोनिंग सो यू हैव टू टेल द राइट आंसर नाउ द लास्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन द जेनेटिक मेटीरियल ऑफ क्लोन्ड ऑफ स्प्रिंग इज कम फ्रॉम मीन्स द जेनेटिक मेटीरियल ऑफ क्लोन ऑफ स्प्रिंग कम फ्रॉम आइदर बोथ पेरेंट्स सिंगल पेरेंट नॉट फ्रॉम एनी पेरेंट और नन ऑफ द अब सो यू हैव टू चूज द कोरेक्ट आंसर सो नेक्स्ट स्लाइड विल बी ऑफ द आंसर की दिस इज द answers ki and it contain the answers of all questions which you just attempted in previous slides so you can match your answers from here now these are the references which i follow to make this lecture so that's all for today guys thank you very much